Thank you for tuning in to Androna Talks Radio. Gathering as one in our sovereign truth from a galactic perspective. Exploring our world with new ideas, knowledge and a promise of a better future. Galactic discussions for galactic minded people. Androna Talks. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining today. This has to do with the video or the regression that I did with Jennifer, which was number four, the number, the fourth regression that I did with Jennifer. And we had so many visuals, so many different things that she talked about while she was in the regression. I didn't link everything together because I kind of wanted to be able to point certain things out. So the beginning of her regression, she starts with a, a girl by the name of Lydia carrying a red purse. So stay with me here. This was the first picture that I have. Uh, Lydia the Tattooed Lady. I couldn't help but think about this song. And, uh, you know, how there's something kind of, all these different things happen because she has this tattoo or this mark. And, or multiple tattoos. And so, um, I don't know. It just sort of was an interesting song it was very comedic at the time but you could tell that she was quite an interesting person and so in this case we have Lydia that shows up in in the video or yeah during the regression as this young girl that keeps morphing and changing and uh, having this red purse that has documents in it or papyrus in it okay um Another thing that Jennifer mentions is that something happens in Notre Dame. And in here it says Notre Dame does a cleanup to resume with uh, protection rules after toxic lead pollution. She said that uh, during the regression that there was some kind of toxic fumes coming out and it was making the children sick. So here it is. This is um, August 2nd, 2019. We also talk about the royal family of Russia. And uh, here is uh, Alexei that's mentioned. And you can see he was a young boy. And according to history, he dies as a is a um, from the Bolsheviks when they take over the country. But during her regression, she talks about possibly that he survives. I found that this gentleman right here, Serge uh, Alexei, who's supposed to be a um, also a relative of the family, but I found that his his facial structures were very, very similar. And it made me think, even like the eyes, the mouth, the nose. Um, could that be him, older? Could he be the time traveler? It's just an idea. I have no proof. It's uh, mere speculation at this point. But something to think about with what she was saying. Here it is again. Okay, she talked about a serpentine uh, gallery and our sh our shake. She kept bringing that up, and there was also an a shook that someone sent me regarding um, I don't know, it was Mortal Kombat or something. But. It was, it was a fusion of organic matter and some kind of technology or AI. And 
And so here it is, the natural world meets virtual in Jacob Kutz Steenson's augmented reality experience at Serpentine Galleries. And so it's, as I said, they're, they're, they were doing this fusion, deep listener, and the Danish artist has created a rich and compelling work, spent many months embedded in the park, observing and recording its inhabitants and environments. He worked with biologists and naturalists in the museum before creating visual and sonic experiences in five locations around the park. So this was something that she was concerned about This is the video that talks about the red paint, red ochre, and the peopling of the Americas. And so by we're going to have links for all of these. And by looking at this video, you'll hear the story about how they put this, this red paint on the inside in the burial chamber. And they also had a ceremonial section where they show... Um, you know, some other things, and uh, I was fortunate to have uh, someone sent this to me and as they were hearing me talk about uh, the color, the paints, and some of the things that they were doing with paint, and that's extremely helpful. Uh, I also felt the story of, of what was going on with Rev1 and that they came at that early of a time. They, that was the group that I call the Maximus Rufus. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's in the Andronicus Transmissions, where a group of uh, the earlier pre-Adamic race figures out time travel, and they actually jump into this uh, second revolution of humanity after the Flood. And they show up in Rome, and there's a historical account of them being in Rome. They, they see these, these ocean or water or boat people, I'm trying to remember what they call them, the Romans see them come uh, to the shore, and then they just go right into battle, so they never really know their origin. And this is what I was told is called the Maximus Rufus. And so the, the type of uh, behavior ceremonies, the use of the paint, and she talked about uh, the, the radioactive uh, components that, that, I mean, the, the material that came out of this and that was actually making people sick. You also see the red paint is in um, South America, too, I think, in some of the temples. Um, Jennifer was also talking about these um, these markings, you know, they had red paint on them, and then they had this these lines going across in white. I immediately thought about uh, uh, Shiva, and I know that the, you know this is probably an old practice. I don't actually know what the meaning of it is and why they did that, but uh, that was just one example. So we talk about the purses, and then I mentioned the strange occurrences where you're seeing these handbags uh why did you know what did the gods carry in the handbags and i believe this is what jennifer was looking at and only a, a more modern version of it and here they are i mean you see them everywhere here they are um all different types of uh Groups that visited the planet seem to have them. So, um, and the question is, well, what it, what is it about these these purses? What are they carrying in there? So it looks like there was codes, materials, things that needed to come in, or they brought into the planet for some purpose or another. And obviously, if it goes into the wrong hands, look, look what happens. 
So Jennifer also mentions the Teletubbies. And I couldn't help but think about here's the red purse again. Which is really strange. And I remember there was a lot of controversy over why is it that uh, all the Teletubbies are kind of just, you know, jumping around and they have maybe they'll put on a hat or do something. But this is the only one that actually carries a purse. So maybe there was a much deeper meaning like we're seeing today. The last image is the Arkin stone that she was talking about is this beautiful stone that was given and that could be misused and it was given by the Lyrans and the Rainbow Children. So uh, that's pretty much the end of, of the presentation. I just wanted to share this with you. I wanted you to uh, be able to see that um, some of these visuals that we were discussing and and you can look them up yourself. But um, believe it or not, all of these different topics came up in one regression. So uh, as I said, uh, it's quite revealing. But here it is. We will have the links on there so you can view them yourself. And thank you for listening. You have been listening to Androna Talks Radio. Join us on YouTube channel Jessica Errol Morocco and visit her website at www.readingsbyarial.com.